Now, ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to mentally don your wizard hats. <laughs> Grab the Mountain Dew, oh. because it's time for a role-playing game called <laughs> Dungeons and Patents. <laughs> Patton Oswald? Oh, hi, yes. It is 1985, oh. and you have traveled back in time. Uh -huh. You find yourself at an airport with two sets of tickets in your hand. What are my stats? What's my strength? <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time to roll for oh, it. Oh, we don't? All right. No. Uh, I, I do have three belt pouches, though. I'll tell okay, you that right good. now. <laughs> Thank <right>. you. <laughs> One set of tickets takes you to Athens, Georgia, Ooh. where a young band named R.E.M. is Sounds playing lame. a, a they record. sound lame. <laughs> They're playing a record release party for Fables of the Reconstruction. Hmm. The other tickets take you to the 1985 San Diego Comic Con. <laughs> oh, where God. do you go? Uh, where do I go? Oh, um, hang on. Uh, who are the? Uh, can I as as the uh, as the dungeon master? Although, or as uh, the, the patent master? The patent master. Yeah. Uh, who are the guests at the Comic Con? Uh, it, it, you know, I think it doesn't say. It just says you need to go and uh, and I need see to go. who's there. Yeah. Oh, if only I knew if Gil Gerard was there. That would <laughs> really sway me. All right, so I'm looking at tickets Athens, Georgia, San Diego. Um, uh, damn it, I got I to gotta play my character, man. I got to play my character. I, I would go to San Diego. You're going to Comic-Con. Yeah. Right. Sorry, I would go to San right. Diego. Let's make sure to... Let's, let's roll. Roll to see if you okay. don't crash. Oh God, all right. No, no botch, no botch. Two people got that? All right. Ooh. Oh God, I rolled a one, that's a botch. I just rolled a total botch. <laughs> you rolled a botch? Yeah. Okay. Um. I can't believe I rolled a one. <laughs> well, but in Dungeons and Patents, that counts oh. for a 20, so you're okay. Oh, all right. I thought I was going to die on my way to see Manimal. <laughs> <laughs> you arrive at the convention center, oh. Oh. and you can walk down one path and meet the best young artists of their generation. Publishers eager to publish whatever they put out, and they're eager to work on a new project missing only an idea. Oh. Or you could walk down the other path and talk to Stan Lee about his thoughts on comics as movies. I gotta see Stan the man. All right, roll. I hope I don't roll a 20 and cut his head off. <laughs> Eight. Eight, okay, all right, you're through, you're through. Okay. Um, you meet Stan Lee, he right. says that he doubts comics could ever work as movies. The art forms just don't mesh. He wants to know what you think. Let's roll to see what I think. All right. <laughs> I think you need the 12 for that. Yeah, let's do the 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Wait, 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 wait. 11, I agree with him. Okay. <laughs> you know, Stan, the second Swamp Thing movie was pretty lame. You're right. <laughs> There's no future in this. Superman the, for the quest for peace was really crappy. I think it's over. Even Spider-Man? <laughs> Not, no, no, I think okay. that, uh, you know what, uh, despite the, uh, the, the TV series uh, starring that guy, Nicholas something, help me out. Nicholas Hammond, um, yeah. Uh, I think that with uh, improved special effects, a la The Last Starfighter, uh, a Spider-Man movie is uh, quite feasible. So what but only if you get Robert Preston to play Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, I need these. <laughs> <laughs> a future with the Robert Preston Spider-Man. Yes, exactly. All right. Well, let's see what happens here. We need to decide your fate uh, coming out of the Comic-Con. Okay, it's a nine. It's okay. a nine. That means, yep, you've been awarded a magical amulet. Congratulations. <laughs> you can choose which comics become movies. You can assign directors and actors, and you can dictate the vision of what that movie should be. 
what do you make first? What gets turned into a movie and what does it look like? Jamie Farr is the Green Lantern. <laughs> And it's directed by Hal Needham. <laughs> From Smokey and the Bandit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Green Lantern has to get a truck full of Owen power batteries from Texarkana back to Georgia. He makes a bet with Sinestro, who's played by Paul Williams. They have, he has 24 hours. Him and the Green Arrow, his sidekick Green Arrow, played by Dom DeLuise, have got to <laughs> get this truck full of power batteries back to Georgia in 24 hours. All right, all right. Let's roll to see how it does. Ooh, it's a 14. Ooh. Not bad. Nice. De decent enough for sequels. Uh-huh, not uh, sequels. <laughs> all right, and lastly, Ooh. you are at another crossroads. You can oh. choose to go back to 2011, to the present time, or remain where you are and conquer and manipulate the world before you. I don't even have to roll for that, my friend. <laughs> I'm gonna stay in the 80s, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna stay in the 80s, and let's just say that, let's just say that the Watchmen are gonna have to tangle with Josie and the Pussycats. <laughs> Congratulations, you're victorious in Dungeons and Patents. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you.